the gift of Tunisia Stellar to Jay Tom Green. As soon as the sun is up, people in southern Tunisia rush out to buy a glass or bottle of leg meat, a cup of Jay Tom Green that is too delicate to be sold far from the oasis of the coastal city of Gate. Bicycles, cars and military vehicles are clustered around three men seated on plastic chairs. Next to them are just brimming with the precious tools, a testament to the gate staying, even if the let me attract. Mosquitoes, people will stick around. The fourth particularly during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan for its high sugar content, this drink, typical of Saturn Oasis, is primarily consumed from March to October. Many Tunisians enjoy lovely for breakfast, such as the tram, who has walked to the roundabout for the morning rush. We were born with Lesney, a friend said. My grandfather and my father produced it, my one, Tyson and a half-year-old daughter has already drunk it, and me, I have even written a song about Lesney, said the singer, in his 30s. Another customer, 30, Tyson-year-old Hayden, describes the drink as part of our identity. It is something rare, it is a good, he said. A producer must have an expert hand and not be too greedy to draw the sack from the palm without killing it, he said. Drink, a palm tree at the Ains Land Roundabout, a 1.5, Tyson liter bottle sells for around 2.5 dinars, over P40. One of the producers is Raven Rain Musa, who describes himself as the prince of the palm tree. Now in his 60s, he has harvested the nectar since learning the technique age 14 from a relative in the gate oasis of Nahal. He who does not love the palm tree is not the vision. After the, there is the palm tree, he said. Perched atop an 8 meter, 26 foot, palm, the direct between his lips. Musa has just finished his harvest for the day. To extract a daily take of 15 liters, 3.9 gallons, he climbs the palms barefoot, using nothing but notches he made in their trunks. He carefully cuts the bark to cause a reaction from the palm that makes its sap rise. But one must not touch the heart of the palm, otherwise, it dies, Musa warned. He has 25 palm trees but harvests from each for just two and a half years before letting them rest for four years, producing around 8,000 liters annually. Other than fresh, or living legni, a fermented, alcoholic version of the drink is produced called dead legni. Back at the gate's roundabout, Hayden describes the alcoholic drink as a young people's game. They do not have a lot of money to get drunk, so you pay, win dinar and get dead legni but it is not good at all. In his youth, Hayden and others fermented living like me for hours in a hut to produce their own alcohol. Every day we tested it. We added herbs, mint until today, we do not know which one was the best because nobody agrees. Those are good memories. Along with the harvesting, storing the drink is complex as it turns rapidly into vinegar. To keep it fresh, bottles of ice are placed in the can that the fast flows into overnight. Then the juice is immediately frozen until it is poured for sale. This fragile process limits the consumption of leg meat. Even in fact, there is none, Hayden said, as the coastal city to the north. Some residents see its fragility and limited reach as a positive. Hayden said that some were afraid, if there is a lot of demand, what is going to happen? They are going to cut a lot of palms and risk losing the oases. Musa, the Lesney producer, warned that chemical pollution from factories is a threat to the oases. State-owned Tunisian chemical group has been processing phosphate in the area since the 70s and has been blamed for putting the oases at risk. But for now, the future of Lesney producers is assured. I thought my son is worth so that is. Tradition stays in gates forever, Musa said. Related stories. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.